According to the holographic principle, the universe's 3D reality could be a projection encoded on a 2D boundary. Black holes hint at this, whose interior properties map to their horizons. Physicist Uziel Auret wonders if consciousness has a similar holographic duality. Subjective experience on one side, the brain's quantum scale activity on the other. Two descriptions of one system. If neural processes involve entanglement, distant particles acting as one, the brain might operate as a coordinated quantum team, not merely billions of independent firings. Yet even perfect readouts of spikes and fields don't yield the redness of red, the so-called hard problem and its structural mismatch. Aurit suggests tackling a cluster of linked puzzles, awareness, self-awareness, causal influence on brain activity, rather than one monolith. Skeptics, like Neurotech founder Jonathan Barrent, see no evidence for a holographic brain. Though unusual cases, neurosurgeon Eben Alexander's vivid coma experience amid minimal neocortical activity keep the gap in view. Testing quantum effects in living brains is daunting. Measurement disturbs what it measures. ARET proposes a thought experiment a huge, perfectly entangled quantum computer whose qubits instantiate space-time itself. If reality is an afterimage of information, the remaining question is profound. Where exactly does consciousness plug into space-time itself?